Hi, this is Alex from Genius TV with a very brief overview of uh, just how easy Final Cut Pro X has made it to transfer video from your camera into your computer preparing it for editing. Now you can get to the camera import window either by clicking import from camera in an empty event or from the file menu import from camera, command I. The camera import window appears displaying all the clips on the camera that's currently connected. If most of these shots look good to you and you want to sort through them inside the computer, just click Import All or press Enter. The camera import window defaults to the event that you had selected when you opened the camera import window, or you can change that event and select any transcoding or video options, video or audio analysis options that you're interested in. Click Import. You can see these little pie chart shaped progress indicators that tell us when each clip is completely copied over to the disk but you don't have to wait for that to finish to start your editing. You can close the camera import window and immediately start scrubbing through marking ins and out points and editing these shots into your project as if they were already done copying. There is no wait for the transcode. I'm going to clear these shots out just so that we can look at a couple of other facets of that camera import window. I'm going to open the import from camera window back open. Even though you can quickly start working with these shots, there are some cases where you have a lot of video that you know you're never going to use. Uh, suppose there are four shots of the inside of the cameraman's camera bag that you just don't want to bring in. You can select multiple entire clips by holding the command key while you click to select the clips or clicking and dragging to draw a lasso. Once you have some clips selected you can click import selected or just press return and press return again. It's going to bring in just those four clips. So the last case, in some types of shoot you can tightly control the video, the amount of video that the camera is capturing. So you can hit record at the beginning of a take and hit record again to stop at the end of the take. There are other types of events though where you end up with large quantities of video that you don't really care about. For example, imagine a wedding ceremony. You may set up cameras in a few different locations, start them rolling, but there's a good 10 minutes before the ceremony actually starts. Importing that 10 minutes worth of video is a waste of time and disk space. Uh, you can set in and out points to import just the chunks of video that you're interested in. Now the camera import window behaves almost the same as the event browser. You can skim to find the frames you're interested in. You can use the slider to zoom up on those clips to get a little more precision. You can use the J, K, and L keys to play forward, backwards, and pause. And you can use the arrow keys to go frame by frame. You can even use the I and O keys to place your in and out points if that's what you're interested in. But let's do it the fastest way possible. All right, so I am skimming across this clip. I know what I wanted was the cat walking towards the camera. Don't really care about all this stuff at the end. I don't want to see his butt. So I'm just going to click and drag, get a nice rough cut of just the cat walking toward the camera, press return twice. That shot's ready to go. I don't have to wait while that shot transfers. I can immediately start marking other portions that I'm interested in. I want only this portion of this shot. Return, return. I want only this portion of this shot. Return, return. Click close, and yeah, the clips are still importing, but I've got just the pieces that I'm interested in transferring to my computer in the background, and I can still edit on that video in the meantime. So there are a few more features of the camera import workflow that we can discuss in future videos, like making camera archives, controlling your transcodes, and working with some of those video and audio analysis options in the import screen. But just as a quick start to get you out of the gates in editing, Final Cut X's new camera import features just can be beat in terms of speed and efficiency. Thanks for watching, and be sure and check out our other tutorials at GeniusDV.com.